I'm Jess. I love that I get to be part of life change for people. I love that I get to see them have hope again. Back in 2011, I was going through a divorce and my dad was battling cancer. And within just a couple months, um, I lost them both. Very, very difficult time, life-changing, two major life-changing events occurring um, within just a couple months. And it left me quite broken, devastated, heartbroken, um, scared and challenged, all of those things when you go through those kind of life challenges. I was working uh, a lot. I was working nine hour days and commuting um, an hour each way. And so as I was going through my own personal crisis and having now to support my kids on my own, um, leaving my job wasn't an option, but I knew that I wanted to try something different. I have another friend, a coworker, who was my mentor at my last agency, and I remember talking with her one day, and she said, what do you want to do? What do you think you want to do next? And I said, I, I think I want to do ministry. I think I want to rally my community around a cause. Uh, I love to public speak, and I don't know what that means. I don't know how I'll do that. Labor Day weekend 2012, Pastor Kelly said, for anyone looking for a job, bring in your resume. We're going to pray over resumes this weekend. And so I, I don't remember exactly what her prayer was, but what I do remember her saying, the thing that sticks out the most, is she said, um, give, them, give them a job that they're not qualified for. And that just stuck out to me. So in October, just a month later, uh, there was a job advertised in a local paper for an executive director of a local homeless shelter, a new agency that was starting up in Elk River. And I thought, boy, I have some of these qualifications, but not all of them, not really. So I sent out my resume. I was incredibly excited and hopeful and I just thought boy this is right up my alley working with families experiencing homelessness with all the area churches and uh, and I got a second interview um, and she called me and said uh, a big part of this job is public speaking of course it is and I needed to prepare a speech for the second interview uh, it was early November when I got the call that I got the position um, God, all, all God. Life was changing. The, the office was a mile from my house. I was able to work back in my community uh, with my own church, with many churches, 19 churches in our community are on board in this ministry. Uh, we serve up to four families at one time, or 14 people. Um, and in what I like to say is it's not just a homeless shelter, it's a program. It's a place for people um, to get off the streets, to, to have a safe place to be with their kids. We only take families with minor children. Um, it's a place to start over again, get a lot of support, work through your goals, and, and housing is always our focus. When I talk with women who are going through hard times, I would tell you, hold on, this is for a reason. and. What I know to be true in my own life is that trials become testimonies. And, and I believe that if God can do this for me, He can do it for anybody. There's nothing any more special about me than anybody else. You know, I'm just, just a human like the rest of us. I, I frequently say I'm just having a human experience. That's all. My name is Jess Hardfield Thurston, and I am the Executive Director of Great River Family Promise.